Hey everybody, Dolphin Oracle here. Part one of my short series on the file browsers available in Antics. I'll be covering the two GUI file browsers. There's also a command line file browser called MC or Midnight Commander. If you're a big fan of Norton Commander from the good old MS DOS days, check out Midnight Commander. It's available right here at the Tools, Filers, MC File Manager. I think you're going to recognize it. It's super ultra fast and if you're viewing text files it is really nice for viewing text files. But I'm going to cover the GUI and our opening video here is on Rocks, the default file browser for Antics. And of course you know how to launch Rocks. We've been doing it uh, the last few videos. You got the button bar, you got the menu, you got the tile on the the icon on the uh, on the screen. Single file browser, wi single window file manager uh, is Rox's goal. It's GUI. It is very mouse driven. You can use keyboard commands. You can use the arrows to move around inside. You can use the, if you've got it on your uh, keyboard, you can use the, uh, I don't know what to call it. It's the, not the Windows button. It's the one on the right side of the keyboard that's not Control and Alt. Um, it opens up kind of sort of a, a right click menu uh, in Antics, I mean in uh, Rocks. If you want to go up, uh, down into the file tree, obviously you just hit enter to go forward. If you want to go back up the file tree, you go backspace to go up. That's with the keys. With the mouse, you got your up arrow, home folder, bookmarks. You can add bookmarks. Refresh the directory if you need to. You can make your icons bigger and smaller. You can show extra details. Basically just a detail view. You've got changing your sort criteria. This is fine, but it's the button's fine. It just cycles through the available sort criteria. I happen to like, if I'm going to do some sorting, to come down here to display and sort, and I can choose the sort criteria the way I want it. Um, filter files does just that. You can specify a file mask, and it'll show you just the files uh, that match that, plus the directories. It'll, it'll always show you the directories. A uh, couple other sh keyboard shortcuts. Control C copies. Yes, it does. Uh, if I hit Control C, you see it's going to. I get a little copy here, and it's going to turn into a crosshairs. I can select an item and copy it to something else. Test.jpg. Okay, there we go, and there it is. Oh, I, re I messed up. I already have a screenshot, so I want to delete that. Okay, here's the kicker. But guys, in rocks. Delete is not the delete key like you might be used to in basically every other file manager on the planet. Uh, it's actually Control X, and if you hit Control X, there's the little crosshairs. Boom, it's gone. Okay, it's gone for good. No trash can in Antics. Straight up warning, you've been warned. Okay, um, other items. Control H shows hidden files. Okay, also the eyeball shows hidden files. Uh, this icon selects all or, well, that's what it does, it selects all. Let's say for, as I'm browsing my window gets a little weirdly shaped and not all the pr things are on the screen the way I like, Control E will resize the window to something Rox considers sane. I've noticed it usually tries to limit the number of rows, uh, so it'll try to give you five or six columns and, a, and then an appropriate number of rows when it does that. Custom uh, right-click options. Actually, the right-click options are neat. You get a next-click menu, and that's where we get that crosshairs. And you get copy, rename, you can make some links. Uh, kind of like shortcuts, you don't know what that is. Uh, send to action, uh, you have to configure this. There's not very many send to options. In fact, usually there's none. Um, you can set the run action, so like for uh, JPEG, it op it by default it opens Fay, but let's say I want to open that in Mirage instead, which is another viewer. There we go. And that's going to be changed for every JPEG file. Now, you can also access the same menu, the next click menu. Whoops. Uh, as long as you're not selecting anything, you can see the properties, the permissions, if you want to set permissions. Uh, I, whoops. I happen to like doing that. You can do a right click directly on an icon. Properties, you can check these boxes and change the permissions. I know perm setting permissions gives me grief sometimes. I like 
this is about as simple a menu uh, GUI as you could ask for for set permissions on a single file. Uh, you got lots of new window options, uh, new parent windows, new window just opens another window, which is handy when you're dragging from folder to folder, especially across file systems or, or deep end, because all you have to do is drag from one folder to another. Okay, um, and you will get options for copy, move, and create a link. I'm going to copy that one there. And there it is. And so you notice that when I did that, I, my icons got a little funky. Control E brings me back to something that looks a little prettier. Okay, other options. Um, you can set the icons, you can do issue find commands, you can customize your menu if you like to set options a particular way. You can put them in like the send files you drag here will go into the send to menu. Applications, I mean to say. Um, if you click off here in space with nothing selected, you're going to get an options menu that's going to let you have all the customization options that you could want, including for the pin board, which is with these desktop icons here. I will say that the Rocks pin board, even though you got icons on a desktop, it's not really a desktop. It's a it's a it's a panel. Think of it like a cork board. It's got stuff that you throw on there, um, but it they're they're it's more useful as a as a as a uh, as a file launcher or a program launcher than it is. Uh, a, a, as another folder or a representation of a folder on your desktop. For instance, if you download something into your desktop, to the desktop through IceWeasel, it's going to land in your desktop folder, in your home folder, but it's not going to end up on the Rocks pin board. It's going to show up as a link on the Rocks pin board, just a Rocks item. Okay. So it's, it's, it's a different way of thinking about what's on your desktop. If you throw a download if you're a downloader for on Ice Weasel or Firefox or whatever and you're used to downloading to the desktop so that you can find the download afterwards easier uh, it's not going to show up on the desktop if you use space FM and I'll cover that in part two it works like you're thinking but the rocks pin board doesn't I will say rocks is the default uh, if you use puppy Linux it's the default in puppy Linux as well uh, Okay, you got all the customization options here you could possibly ask for. Here's setting your icon themes here. Uh, you can set your colors if you like. Uh, there's all sorts of uh, different attributes. You can browse those, see what they do. Here you can set your icons, uh, your toolbar type rather. Let's bring, let's drag this up here. We'll show that off. If you set that to uh, icons only, which is where it's set, or rather text under or text beside, you can see you have different different options. You can even set it to have no toolbar. And since it's all menu driven, it's actually a perfectly reasonable way to operate. You just have to remember to use backspace to go up. So we'll turn the toolbar back on though. You can customize what's on the toolbar. Okay. Uh, you've got some other uh, nice options here. You've got uh, um, some neat select options actually you got select by name or select if these will let you set up criteria where it will select this is handy if you've got a big folder full of like mp3 files or mixed media or something and you want to get all the mp3s and leave all the jpegs uh, album marts or something I, it, it's kind of a neat uh, a neat deal uh, uh, window the other nice thing about window is it has a terminal here option where it'll let you uh, get a terminal right where you're at. Handy if you find yourself browsing looking for a file and you're down in three levels deep and slash, back and slash etc and uh, you find that you need a terminal uh, if you open the terminal from the from the desktop you're, you're right back in your home folder if you do a terminal here from rocks you'll end up in whatever, whatever folder you're going to as an example I'll, uh, I'll open a new terminal in downloads and you'll see that I'm in home downloads Okay, uh, you can enter a path directly as well if you like. Whoops, I always mess that up. Uh, but let's say I want to go to slash etc. There I am. I'm in slash etc. Let's say I want to go home. Uh, there, I'm home. 
escape clears that off. So there, that's your that's your big uh, your 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 big large main options in and in, uh, in rocks. Again, it has lots of sword options, um, uh, and it's been the default for years on Antics. It's a very stable file browser. It works really well. You do have it's very fast. You do have to watch the Control X thing, or at least I do. Uh, maybe you're not a habit in the habit of that, but I have to watch it because I I I, I, I tend to uh, delete things when I don't need to. I, uh, in part two, I'm going to cover Space FM. Uh, again, tips, tricks, how-tos, head on over to annex.mepis.org. I'll throw up a post at annex.freeforms.org. Uh, say hi to the guys over there, and, um, uh, they'll, and they'll, they'll help you out if you need it. Uh, I'm there almost every day, so you feel free to leave a post for me if you like. And, uh, well, this is D.O. signing off. Have a great day.